Yeah, we've got, we've got a big gun. The whole village is out. <laughs> the Ukraine. I'll be honest with you. We have just loaded up better quilts, sheets, and bedding than I've got in our ass. Well, you know, the fact that we've lost a lot of money on our timeshare that we had in the Ukraine, that don't matter. I'd actually like to go and live there because it looks like they've got better gear going in these vans than we have, you know. <laughs> so they're not doing bad. We're coming. We are coming. Well, we're in Leipzig, Germany. We're about 500 miles away from home. We'll be in our own bed tonight, thanks for the giant bastard that was in the hotel. Never seen it in the hostel. Fuck me. In case you don't know, it is me, Dave. Yeah, that's your shoulder, she's ever bringing it. Right, that's the body armor you have to wear, this stuff here. And this one here, it's got four holes in it. One, two, three, four. And although it saved the geezer's life, it actually shattered all 12 of his ribs. And so they have to wear one of these, one on the back, one on the front, one on the shoulders. And these actually weigh an absolute ton, don't they, G? Yeah, absolutely. Just to carry one of them round, let alone a gun and, and run and, and be a soldier with these, is just how they do it, the weight of them. And some of them don't wear them because it's just too much weight. Oh, he's not an happy bunny, I can tell you. He's not an happy bunny. Well, um, we went away, we got away with that accident. The, the, actual, the accident, I'll start from there. The accident was a, um, a Brinks Met security van that just veered across the motorway and his, his, in his window, his mirror, banged our window. And because it's a group for security van, he couldn't go until the police were called. So we're sitting on the side of the motorway for ages. While we're sitting on the side of the motorway, one of the artists came past and gave us another ding right, with his with his wind mirror, which is <laughs> really the day up. Right? So we ended up getting down to the Ukraine border. We've unloaded. Unloading the first van at the moment. Love that t shirt. And it's the, and the hub. This is where volunteers all work. That's in onto crates so that they can then put it on the lid. Guys, is that where you're staying over there in them tents? Yeah. Is that where you live? Yeah. So, can I just show, show them where these guys I did, are? I did video it earlier, but I will go and show. So, where they have a little sleep. So, this is where they live. The people that volunteer. Absolute heroes. Look at that. They've got food and some bits. Somewhere for them to have a shower. But that's about it. Other than that, they're living in a warehouse. I'm working every day, all day. Voluntary. Absolute legends. I'll just go back to where we were working. Still unloading the first van. Everyone was absolutely f Sue, Gary, Brendan. Um, so they've all booked into an hotel. And when they normally stay at Polish's house, a little like, like they have for the last time, I've gone up and stayed with uh, Polish and I'm getting spoiled because they've all got all their dinners, all their drinks and all that. So I'm getting spoiled. We're on our way home. 
they're fast, they're fast. I'm all trying to get back in the country now. They're all genuinely, genuinely trying to get back. There's, there's heartbreaking stories about it. It's, it's taken them a queue of about three weeks to stand in the queue trying to get in and out and all that. Um, but I, I, I've really got to commend all the good people that are around in the world. I've got to see a thousand billion of them. And in this little warehouse, no, not little warehouse, it's like an aircraft, they? They've all got their own little bit where they've pitched their tents and they're living in their tents inside the warehouse. Actually, and they're doing all this sort of um, sorting out. But the, the vans that we brought, because we put them all in nice boxes first and labelled them in Ukrainian and English, what they were on all four sides. They didn't have to do any sorting about us, they were nearly you know, great, you know what I mean? They were the perfect fit. So, you know, it, it, all, it all worked. Right, it all worked. But um, my praise to them people around there, they just travelled the world and uh, wore torn places. Nothing else, nothing else. How beautiful people are they? Well, we're now on the last leg, right? We're on the last leg. So we're in the line for freight, which is all the lorries. Look at that down there. That takes f***ing hours. And our little van, yeah? See that? And all lorries. What a... <laughs> we're on the move. Oh, I forgive you. <laughs> right? You're entitled to one mistake in 2,500 miles. You're entitled to one mistake. Right, what's happening now <coughs> is um, we're going to give the van back. And what they do is they've got a little bit of cardboard and they've got an hole in it about the size of a 2p. And they come out and they look at all the chips and little dents or anything like that. And if it all fits in this hole that they've got on a bit of cardboard. Got it? Yeah, then you don't have to pay for it. So we're going to go and get him to come out with the bit of cardboard and put it up against that. This is for the giggle of it and I'm going to film it. Ah, that should be funny for us. See you in a minute. She's got the, uh, she's got the little circle thing, have you? Uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Friend. She was too cool, we ruined the joke. <laughs> ruined the joke. <laughs> we are home, right, Brent? Well, that was a proper right. little drive. Proper drive, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when we did come home, we had a squatter here. <laughs> oh, thanks for staying with me for that journey and being me and Brent. Thank you, thanks for all the phone calls. And um, I hope I kept you updated. All right, see you in a bit.